DevOps is the loudest voice in IT industry today and a lot of people are planning to go for DevOps but they are not sure that what is DevOps engineer actually doing. There are a lot of DevOps enthusiasts who start their DevOps journey and they end up not staying up to it because of their cloudy understanding about DevOps. DevOps stands for Development Operations which means responsibility. A very big responsibility of product that you need to realize. How? What I'm about to explain can also come in your interview questions. Interviewer may ask you that what are the different phases in DevOps? Let's take a deep dive in it. DevOps engineer plans a life cycle of a product in this era of IT. First step for that is to plan a product. In this phase, DevOps team do the brainstorming. They plan, define and describe the strategies and features to build an application. IT era is moving with a very fast pace to bring amazing and latest features that every company wish to integrate in their product today. The main objective of this phase is to improve the business value of the application with the latest features resulting in producing a desirable end product so that we cannot witness a fail in a simple thing as scan code failure that we have witnessed in a big event like NFL where OGs like Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre and Eminem rocked the show. Imagine the amount of loss the company must have bear for not choosing the right DevOps engineer. Once you're done with this step, then you introduce your team with Jira, where basically you need to bring all of your team on board. Second step is to think about development and testing. We decide the programming language in this phase where developers will code and then they'll test it. Now, this is not a role of DevOps engineer. So here DevOps team will try to innovate improvise the product and without compromising the quality, stability and productivity. This is achieved through, you know, continuous testing and continuous in integration. For this, you will take a control on version with the help of Git. You know, you'll use it for coding and for testing. You can ask the testers and your team to test it as per the decided infra of the application, which could be, uh, you know, tested with the help of J unit, Selenium and you know Apache Ant or Maven. Third step is to think about how you can deliver a product with a seamless, super fast and reliable service of cloud. Looking at the market acquisition, I prefer AWS, which is also the answer of the question that I asked in my yesterday's video, which also brings me to today's questions. So DevOps is an extension of which of these? Uh, is it QA or is it an agile process or is it waterfall or the fourth one? None of above. Let me know the right answer in comment section and I'll reply you back if you're right. All right. So back to third step. So in this, we think about delivering and the deployment things, you know. So in this phase, the team focuses on continuous integration and continuous delivery. The teams here releases all the management process with clear manual approval stages. They help in automating these process to make them scalable, repeatable and controlled. DevOps teams can deliver the application frequently with ease and confidence. We use Jenkins for continuous integration, Docker and Kubernetes for containerization, Ansible, Chef and Puppet for continuous delivery. Final step is to operate. Yes, just like a doctor of programmers, because that's how you are going to maintain, monitor and do the troubleshooting of applications in the production environment. In this phase, DevOps team ensure the system reliability, high availability and zero downtime uh, during the enforcement of security and governance. Teams monitor the performance of the deployed applications in the production and receive clients feedback on the applications. We can do this with the help of tools like Splunk. So summary in short, that as a DevOps engineer, this is how you explain the life cycle that how you can plan a product, you decide to code it, develop it, test it and release it from the production teams, which is development phase. And then we start the operation phase where we deploy it, operate it and monitor it. Now I'm sure you can guess that why you have an infinite loop uh, while writing DevOps over there because in cloud all of these phases are continuous and seamless. So I hope that DevOps is not a riddle for you anymore after watching this video. We have also launched an amazing course on DevOps so check out the pinned comment uh, to cover the complete DevOps journey with us. So let's aim for 50 thumbs up in this video and then I'll post the next video on Roadmap of Cloud Practitioner. If you're liking my content, then don't forget to press the bell icon and refer this video in your friends group. This will motivate me 
to make more of such videos on DevOps and Cloud. So that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow again tomorrow. with another video. Wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. It's gonna be a good day